This is the drive home with Zach and TT for the Millwall drive home, driving home from the den. Where it finished, Millwall one, Bournemouth one. Bournemouth one. It's been a long day for me and Zach. We were at the new camp yesterday, watching Barca draw one one. Uh, it's drawing nil nil with Benfica, and we've watched another draw today. We we landed at ten to what was it ten to six yeah, at, at Stansted. Six. Somehow made it to the den with the help of my beautiful wife, who, uh, who picked us up from Stansted. We drove straight to the den, and it was good to be back. Obviously, we weren't at Middlesbrough on Saturday, and it was a decent game today. You know, I've, actually, it was better than the game that we watched yesterday. I felt. Yeah, um, and we watched one of the best teams in the world. So. Yeah, what Mill? Yeah, yeah, and Barca. Oh, oh Mill and Barca. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So if you don't mind, drop a like on the video if you like the video. Well, I'll try and get through it. I'll try and stay awake through the drive. It, um, it always helps staying awake, to be fair. It, like I said, it was a decent performance from second half, certainly first half. I think Bournemouth scored with their only, no, they had, I think, two or three shots on target, considering the attacking power in that team mm. is pretty decent. Likewise, we create very little. You know, you, you we, we, we seem to go through most games where the ball's in the midfield or it's, it's defended, but just so few opportunities created for either team nearly every single week. Um, we started off with two changes, the return of Danny McNamara, and it's a fantastic return from Danny McNamara. I, I will um, talk about Danny Mac before I go any further, actually. What I really liked about him is getting on the ball, driving with it, running at players, you know, creating fouls, um, you know, a couple of bookings should have been on, with tackles on him. In fact, I think it wasn't the yeah, tackle. It wasn't the, the both ta- the tackles that they got booked for were, were on Danny, Danny Mac. Mack. Just a, just a really good performance, and you know, uh, he's in my opinion, unless he he's injured or not fit for 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 Saturday against Hull, has to start. Must has to start. He's, it's a must. It's a must do for Gary Rowett. Yeah, he, you can't. Uh, you he, he can't be dropped after that performance. It was a fantastic performance from Danny Mac. Um, so he, he was back. Bartosz obviously in goal. We I th- we kind of played four, two, three, one today. We didn't really have the back five that we normally did, and I think that that formation kind of baffled Bournemouth again. I don't think they was expecting it. But we had a back four of Danny Mac at right back, the two centre backs of Hutch and Daniel Ballard, and the left back was Murray, Murray Wallace. Two the two holding midfielders in George Savile and Billy Mitchell, three in front of them. Jed Wallace on the right, Mason Bennett in the middle, and Scott Malone on the left with Benekafobe up front. Benekafobe. It, it was kind of like a. They all swap, swapped yeah, around the yeah, positions. They did. They interchanged quite a lot, and you know our movement was pretty decent. You know Benekafobe today absolutely worked his worked his nuts off up front, um, and we'll get onto that in a second. Do you know what? I don't normally go with ref watch this early, but the ref has had an absolute shocker today. Both teams will be um, pointing out the fact that, you know, some absolutely baffling decisions, but not just the ref. You know, you, you expect linesmen or any officials for that matter to be professional. You've got a, a linesman today cupping his ears. Yeah, I, I saw him cut. Cu- so the fans were booing him after half time and he was like this. And then after, he was like this to the fans. Yeah, going like, come on, to have, like. That's not Have what you should, at me, yeah. That's not what you should be doing. That that shows that you're, you know, you're, you're being unprofessional. It, it certainly shouldn't be allowed. I'm 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 sure that the, that the club will make a complaint about that. Just like I said, more than anything else, unprofessional. And the reason why the fans were booing him at half time was there is an absolutely disgraceful decision in that. Well, two two massively disgraceful decisions. One, we, we alluded to was it Kilkenny got booked for the tackle on Danny McNamara. He then runs into the box, anticipates contact. There is none, he's miles away from him. And he just take, he, he throws his own legs to the ground. And it's, a, it's as blatant a booking, as a blatant a dive as you're ever gonna see in the championship. And the ref has just simply bottled it. You know, he knows he's, he's given the, he, he, he can see it. He, I, I don't know how he doesn't send him off. Listen, we're, we're useless against 10 men, so I don't know whether it would change the game, but you've got to make that decision in that, in that situation. And then to compound that, about five minutes later, a corner's taken right down in front of us. It's not in the, it's not in the, um, in the, in the area where it should be. It's outside it by, by quite a bit. 
The corner goes into the box. Um, I think it was Mepham who had a fantastic game, to be fair. You know, it, it, for Bournemouth, really played well. And Solanke run, he's, we say about Benekafobe, but Solanke really put himself about today. But um, ball headed down. And then there's a, the most blatant push on Mason Bennett in the middle of the box that Bennett's going to get it quite comfortably. Solanke, push, uh, Solanke pushes Bennett. It then falls to um, the Bournemouth player who puts it home. And it was, I think, it was actually Solanke. No, I don't think. To. Was it Slanky? Yeah, play? because it comes. Oh the yes, back he did post score. Yeah, over and then obviously he pushes Solanke Bennett out of the way. Pushes Be- Bennett and then he gets a uh, gets his old stull on it. Yeah, and it, it's very frustrating. We, like I said, we we don't create. We didn't create very much in. A, well, we didn't create anything in the first half, but then neither did Bournemouth. We're going in at one 0 down, and just neither team deserved to be leading the game. It was quite simple. Second half was a lot better from the Lions, if I'm honest, and, and it all stemmed from one player, and that's Billy Mitchell, and I'm going to go right now, Billy Mitchell was my man of the match, by a country mile today, epitomised by an absolutely wonderful, bit. it would have been probably the best goal with, I, I would have seen at the Den, I, I'd go ever, he wins the ball in midfield, takes it down but the... He wa- but he won it on the left, though. Yeah, that's he what never, I'm saying. He, he won- never defends, nope. really. On the, it, it then takes it down the left, a little two-touch um, around the player, cuts inside, and then drills a shot. With, and it just went over the top right-hand corner of the goal. It would have been an absolutely superb goal from Billy Mitchell, but shows for the ball so often. Like I said, him and Danny Mack... Uh, I know it's it's very easy because you know they're one of our own and and you sing it, but it's they they they, they want they they want to get on the ball and then they want to do something uh, attacking with it. They want to attack and that just it does take it to an, uh, another level and that's why for me Billy Mitchell was was man of the match. But funny enough, the player that changed our attacking dynamism was. Uh, Tom Bradshaw when he come on. Bradshaw really put himself about well, mate, you know, was the, the, the main protagonist in the goal. The balls played up and Cahill and, um, like I said, Mepham struggling all day. You know, once it got in behind them, that with their lack of pace. And with our, and with Benekafobe being quite quick, it was a... Uh... And so the balls, Bradshaw's flicked it on. A Fobe's in front of the defender. There's nothing you can do other than maybe bring him down and you know take your chances with the referee who's an absolute joker. Doesn't bring him down. It, it, you know, a Fobe takes it to quite a tough angle and then finishes it and, and makes it one all. To be fair, Bournemouth fans sung quite well. This is another time, and I know it's difficult to get behind us, but the den at the moment, the atmosphere is is not very good. There's no getting around it. It's quiet. It's but it does relate to what's on the pitch other than the fact that the ref giving bad decisions brought the crowd into it in that second half and then I felt we you know what we what we do sometimes and we kind of kill our own atmosphere we we slow we got back 1-1 and you're thinking the game was there to be taken it was there it was you know it was that it was there and we slowed throw-ins down we slowed free kicks down um and you don't really want to see that. You want to keep the, the crowd in it. And, and we done Bournemouth's job for them, who I will say, massively settled for the point. You know, they took the lead undeservedly. Second half, an absolutely... The only real other chance that I can remember for, for them was the ball was down the left and it looks like he's going to just have a free shot on goal. And Murray Wallace comes from nowhere to make a fantastic oh, yeah. block. Murray Wallace was... Absolutely superb. Oh, it was all over the pitch. Absolutely. Again, it was, we had some really good standout players today. And Murray Wallace, once, he's just so reliable what he does. What he does every single week, he breaks up play, he's so hard to beat, he's so strong on the ball. He's just, he's, again, really good performance for, uh, from Murray Wallace. The, the chance we create, uh, other than that, uh, and it's a, a, a great defensive block from, from Jefferson Lerma. Benica Fobe kind of gets into the box, the ball bounces back to him and he kind of cuts it across goal where it would just be a tap in. I don't know, who was it at the far post? I think was it, uh, it was, was Bradshaw. It might, yes, I think it was Bradshaw. At the back post, it was, he would have just tapped it in. It was, it was, like, it was all a alone. beautiful ball by a phobia as well. And Lerma just sticks out a boot and just gets it and, and passes it away. And obviously we're driving home now with only one point. Probably a point is deserved for both teams, but I get the, like I said, that game was there for the taking for us, and we can't keep saying that. We're in and about it, but every time we look like we could do something, we're, we're getting, we're grinding out points. You want if you 
you go away from home, you get a point. But then I would have taken a point today at the start, if, if I'm being completely honest. If you, you, you offered me a point, I would have taken it. But you, you do want us to be looking to beat teams, especially when they're on the rack. We, um, who's your man of the match? Today, my man of the match was, it was a hard one. Danny McNamara, Billy Mitchell and Murray Wallace were at the top. But I think Billy Mitchell snatched it today because of his pure work rate. He beat, um, beat Dominic Solanke to the ball. It was a beautiful performance by Billy Mitchell today. Yeah, and I can't disagree with that. I've, I've, one honourable mention, Daniel Ballard at the back, absolute. Him and Hutch today, nothing was getting past them. Absolute, um, you know, solid as, solid as rocks they were. We go again on Saturday. Hopefully we'll have a bit of sleep before then, although you've got to go to school in the morning. Good luck with that. Um, I apologise. For, uh, for, for for football taking over your life, but we wouldn't be anywhere else. It was um, really good to be at the den this evening. New yeah. camp last night in the pouring down rain, absolutely pissing down, a freezing cold den, but we love going to the football. These are memories that we're making and, and um, you know, you've you got to appreciate while we've, while, while we've got it. Hull on Saturday, we will see you there. If you're there, come and say hello, because why not? Because it's going to be cold up there as well. Definitely grim up north. Oh, yeah, it's going to be Thank freezing. you very much for watching. The mill will drive home. There's only one way we can end it. No one likes us. We don't care. Come on, you lines.